Arizona's football rivalry with ASU dates back to 1899 when the Territorial Cup was first awarded. It's a trophy that was once lost, but one author has recently found time to write down what's become a right of fall in Arizona. Nine on your sides, Kayla Anderson sits down with Shane Dale to discuss his new book, Territorial, the history of the duel in the desert. You decided to put out this book, Territorial. What made you write this book? There no, hasn't been a, a book made about this rivalry before, which is kind of a shame. It's uh, got the oldest rivalry trophy in the country, and it's one of the best rivalries in the country that really no one knows about. The whole process from start to finish, how, what has the time been like, and, and how much effort yeah. have you put in? Well, I did about 150 interviews total with uh, former and current players, coaches, and analysts. It took a long time. It took a long time to track a lot of people down. Mm -hmm. Didn't get to talk to everyone I wanted to, but most of the people on my wish list. It was fun to to be able to get to talk to guys like Jake Plummer and Chuck Cecil and Rich Rodriguez and Todd Graham and uh, all the great players that came, even from the 40s and 50s. I talked to a guy who played for U of A uh, before World War II. You're sitting here with former players and former coaches and you're seeing them get emotional. A lot of them, I'm talking to them on the phone and they say, you know, I'm getting goosebumps, I'm getting chills just talking about these games right now. That's kind of what I want to capture from this book, the emotion behind the rivalry and kind of the why. Why is this mm -hmm. rivalry so intense? Is there any one person that stood out or any one thing that stood out in your head? Well, Dick Tomey is one of the first guys I talked to, really nice guy, I talked to him for over an hour. And it's kind of funny because, you know, he's 75 years old, he hasn't coached in, in one of these games in 13 years, but he can remember details from every, from all 14 games. Fans think they're knowledgeable, but then when you sit down and do something like this, 114 years of history, yeah. You probably feel 100% knowledgeable. One of my favorite interviews actually was uh, ASU's longtime archivist, Rob Spindler, who knows it, everything there is to know about the Cup of anyone alive today. And I had a real good conversation with him, and he educated me. And so it's kind of an interesting story, just with the Cup itself, kind of independent from the rest of the book, the, uh, the journey that the Cup made uh, all the way from 1899 to 2013. For you, what are your personal goals? You know, what would you like to see happen with it? But I really do hope this book honors those athletes mm -hmm. and coaches that came before it and really I think deserve to have a book dedicated to mm -hmm. them. I hope that I did that justice.